Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to take backup of multiple databases in a timestamp directory. So think about a scenario when you have a lot of databases on MySQL or MariaDB and you would like to create a new directory and then take the backup of all those different databases in that directory. So let's uh, uh, take create the directory first uh, and then uh, uh, inside that directory every time we run that uh, script it should create a newly timestamp directory and the backups would be taken in that one uh. so let me see where I am right now I'm on the root uh, and I'm going to create a directory called the mysql backup uh. okay so that directory is created uh. next part what I would like to do I would like to change the ownership of uh, this uh, mysql backup directory to the mysql instead of root uh. so I will use a blue statement uh, to change the ownership and uh, you can see here let's give a space between sudo and uh, ch owner and we are changing the ownership of uh, this uh, directory so let's run and see if the ownership is uh, changed so we can see that the ownership is changed next part what we would like to do we would like to create a backup uh, user that uh, we will use to take the backup so we have to log into the mariadb or mysql mysql dash u dash root dash p and uh, provide the password okay now uh, we are going to run uh, create user backup um, create user backup user at the local local host if you are running this statement from different node uh, then you will be providing uh, the node uh, uh, IP here identify the by the password here so that's good and I'm going to clear this one uh, so you can see it on top uh. next part what we would like to do we would like to provide some permissions uh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this statement. Grant uh, reload log table replication super create insert and all that because I will be using this u user as uh, for the restore part as well. So I provided different permissions. So you can sort that out and uh, uh, limit the permission if you would like. Uh, now show databases uh, will provide me list of all the databases uh, and you can see here I have tons of databases. Uh, so I have test DB and then I have databases like one, two, three, four and all that. Uh, so I'm gonna exit from here. So let me clear this so you can see what I'm running here. So we saw all those databases and then I'm going to exit from here. We are on the uh, Linux terminal right now and uh, I have prepared the script that we need to run. So what we would like to do inside this uh, directory here. So if you go here, uh, cd mysql. That's where we would like to create a new directory with the timestamp uh, and then inside that uh, all those backups uh, should be created for each of the database uh, what we have seen on like test db1234 and all that. So this is the script uh, we are going to use. Uh, so you see that here I just pasted the script here. So provide the username that you would like to use. Uh, I have a uh, I'm using this uh, so take this uh, script. Uh, um, I will put the link in the description uh, put in a notepad and then uh, uh, change the user so in my case I'm using a backup user and then uh, you are uh, need to provide the password in my case I was using test 123 password for this uh, uh, backup user then uh, you will be providing the directory in which you would like to create a directory and backup so, so in my case uh, I'm gonna create a, a new directory with the timestamp uh, like date uh, year month uh, and uh, uh, time and then hours minute and uh, seconds so I would like to create a new directory with this format you can change a little bit if you don't want the time and all that and uh, it will be created in the root under mysql backup directory if the directory does not exist uh, so we are going to create that directory and then uh, what we will do so we have four loop running here so we are saying for db in uh, and uh, we are going to the mysql getting all the uh, databases names from there and then taken the backup one by one by running mysql dump and you can see that uh, we have provided a username parameter here and then we have password here and uh, here you can see dollar sign db so the values we get from here and then uh, one value at a time will be passed here and then uh, this backup will run on that uh, database um, so here you can see in this directory it will be generated uh, the name of the backup of that database will be like uh, just uh, your uh, database name dot sql so that's how you will see the backup files uh, and uh, then uh, once it's uh, completed so it should be done you know uh, all this uh, here so good 
uh, we can go ahead and run this uh, script I'm gonna hit the enter now the script is running now so what it is doing it is looping through each of the database uh, what we have on this uh, MariaDB or MySQL um, server so it is going to take a little time in my case I have 100 databases uh, but maybe you have uh, more databases so it can take hours uh, in your case uh, my, in my case it will take maybe a minute or two so you can see that uh, it is finished I will create another video you can where you can see the progress of the backups uh, um, while it is taking the backups. So, so here, uh, let's uh, go to the directory, and uh, you can see that uh, this is the newly direct cre directory created in uh, uh, our um, uh, directory. So we are right here in the my uh, backup direct uh, my SQL backup directory, and inside this directory was uh, created. Uh, so you can see that. So if I will go say cd and then uh, uh, to zero and then enter tab and the uh, ls minus la so you can see that uh, all of these uh, backup files are created now. so each file is created for one uh, database um, so uh, if you just do ls so you can see that here so we have a test tp we have mysql we have performance so it took the backup of the system as well as user databases so let's go back and if you see here only one directory is created if you want to rerun that script again it's okay to run it so i'm going to go ahead and copy that script what i have here and you will find the link of this script in the description so just copy paste change your user password and the rest of that uh, if you want to take the backup of all the databases you don't have to do anything so I'm running another uh, set of this uh, queries so what is it going to do it is going to create an other directory in the same folder uh, mysql backup and then uh, take the backup of all the databases so you can see that uh, this is uh, another directory it created and uh, now the backups are taken here so every time you run this query and uh, what is going to do it is going to um, um, take the backup of all the databases you have so that's great I mean uh, often uh, we need to run those uh, statements where we want to take the backup of everything uh, in a separate uh, timestamp directory and we can see that we have it now so if we do ls here every time you run it new directory will be created and inside that uh, the backup of all the databases will happen um, so you can say that this one thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video